Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Aisha from Bags of Style. So in today's video, it's gonna be a discussion video regarding what is luxury and the toxic role that social media influencers play in it. I really have been loving doing these discussion. I just think it's so insightful. Anyway, if you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting on? Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Come join the family. We talk about everything bags re related from contemporary all the way to luxury and to my returning subscribers thank you thank you thank you thank you so much for the continuing support and let's get into this discussion okay guys so as i stated i wanted to get this video out okay um i really have been seeing a lot of video talking about luxury quiet luxury loud luxury all type of luxury okay and in regards to luxury all of us define luxury in a different way or what luxury mean to us in a different way but i'm gonna put the the definition of what luxury is on the screen right now anyway so luxury is a state of great comfort as what it's saying right now okay that's what luxury is really what i want to tackle is this this tiktok um video that this girl did her name is zoe gabrielle um and in this tiktok video as you guys can see she was so excited about buying a 80 dollar keith uh, um charles and keith i'm sorry charles and keith bag and she called it luxury right and the sad part about this whole situation is that this girl got bullied like she got so bullied socially like people were like what do you mean that's not luxury and she got really bullied okay on tiktok because she's a tiktok um influencer or whatever from singapore and it's so sad to see that okay uh but the one thing that i really do love about the girl is that she clapped back and she really responded to her haters like all of the people that were saying nasty comments on her video and stuff like that and she clapped back and she really literally broke it down and said listen the fact that my father was even able to even take out eighty dollars and allow me for me to go spend on a bag that's considered luxury to us because we don't have that money right and after seeing that that really opened my eyes like it's so crazy the standard that social media influencers has put on what is considered luxury especially in the luxury bag ram right in the luxury bag segment because there's different form of luxury okay there is luxury in regards to traveling there's luxury in regards to different part car collection everything okay everybody has their own definition of what they consider luxury but this i'm only focusing more on the luxury bag the handbag section okay so it's so sad to even see that that people were actually coming for and she's a teenage girl like that's the sad part like People really was coming for her because she called a $80 Charles and Keith bag as luxury and people dragged her like that's not luxury you don't know what luxury is and there was some hateful comments and so I feel like I wanted to do this video so as you guys can see on the table right here um, it's a reason why I strategic pick these bags okay so each one of them can be considered a different type of luxury so this is my coach heart bag um you guys know like i've stated if you've been around my channel you know the love that i have for coach okay but coach now that i'm into bags and i know the different coach is considered a contemporary designer right but guess what though for somebody to be even to be able to even go and shop and pay what 350 dollars for this to them this is not contemporary this is not this is luxury to them because guess what like the girl said her dad was able to even afford to take $80 after trying to support his family, right? And with the essential, with the bare minimum, right? Was able to give her $80 for her to be able to go even buy this bag because it was a bag that she wanted, right? So let's put into perspective, somebody that has been working tirelessly, savings, don't even have that much. They only have enough for them to li live for their bare essential. If they're able to take $350 to go buy this bag, right? And they call it luxury. What is our, what is our stance 
and trying to bully them to say this is not considered luxury. This is luxury to them because guess what? They could not be able to afford it. Even though it's 350, it's a big 350 because it's a financial commitment for them that they wasn't able to do before. It is not our place for us to tell them that's not considered luxury, okay? Really is not. And let's now go into the part of the role, right? That social media influencers have. Um, especially on all of the different platforms like TikTok, like Instagram, obviously YouTube, okay? Me, this channel, like I tell you guys, I talk about everything bag related, right? So I don't consider myself part of the luxury uh, um, section, right? I just love bags. I don't care if they're contemporary. I don't care if they're high end luxury. I don't care if they're in the middle luxury. I don't care. I don't care. I just love bags. My biggest thing is that I love the construction of bag. I love the history of that company, right? That's why you see I buy bag. Like, is it good? Is it well made? It's not, oh, well, this person have this, so I want to get that, right? And what I want to point back, and I digress, it's in regards to social media, okay? The thing that we need to understand is that these big end or this social media influencers that have really high following, remember, 90% of them do not buy these bags that they're recommending for you to buy that they considered luxury, okay? Because guess what? They are gifted these bags from the brand and from the brand. Like Dior gift. All of these brands give, like gift their bags to influencers as marketing tactics because guess what? It's cheaper for them to gift a bag to an influencer and for that influencer to promote it because they have over... 500,000 or 100,000 or 200,000 or 50,000 subscribers, right? Because if I come in here, even me with my little channel, I come in here and I tell you guys, hey, guess what? This Versace bag, oh my God, is the best thing ever since sliced bread, okay? You guys need this bag right, 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 right now, right? Or even if I come over and say, hey, this coach bag, it's such a great bag. You guys need it, right? I'm I'm influencing you or I'm basically putting it in your subconscious that you need that bag. So many of these big end influencers, they don't pay for the bag. You, us, the regular folks that earn our money and pay for these bags, like, come on, guys, let's, let's be realistic, okay? Somebody as big as a big influencer do not pay for it but we have to pay for this bag because it's part of our our working hard savings in order for us to be able to afford these bags and we afford it because we love it okay um some people buy it because they're easily influenced okay there's different reasons why people buy these bags okay but the biggest thing that i really wanted to really touch on is that these major influencers they don't pay for these items and they come and recommend it to us, the regular folks to say, Hey, go ahead and buy it. But they didn't pay for it. So, and that's, but guess what? That's part of their brand. They, they are allowed. Don't get me wrong. They are allowed to promote whatever they want to promote because they've been able to build their platform. Right. But at the end of the day is that us on the regular folks, we shouldn't be defined by what an influencer influencer tell us to say, Oh, this this is the best bag ever you need this bag in your collection no you don't <laughs> you need what you can afford and what you can afford is considered luxury to you then guess what it is luxury guys do not let anybody define you or define what luxury means to you and like i said i love the fact that zoe came back and clapped back on her haters and said listen this is considered luxury to me and this is a teenage girl and that's these are the type of teenagers that i respect that have a mind of their own that don't just uh, um sit back and let people bully them because that's what it was it was a social media bully and the sad part is that it's a social media bully on the regular folks and many of those regular folks might not even be able to afford that 80 dollar bag that she went and bought so let's be realistic people sit behind computers nowadays and feel like they can have an input on everything that people do okay don't get me wrong she did put it out there obviously we take accountability like even myself i took accountability accountability on what i post on my channel okay but at the end of the day i love the fact that she came back and actually <laughs> 
clap back on her haters and explain why that is luxury to her, whether anybody understand it or whether anybody agree with it. She, that, that $80 Keith, <laughs> Charles and Keith bag is luxury to her. And I respect that. And I clap back for her. Okay. So that's one point that I wanted to make back is that these social media influencers, they're not paying for it. They're not okay. The other point that I want to make also, and this I just want to touch on it just really quickly, okay, is the same, it's kind of like a continuation on what I said about the social media. And this is the whole thing that's going on with cassette, um, allegedly, okay. So let me just put it out there. So, cassette, if you guys are not aware or haven't been listening on what's going on, cassette allegedly. Um, um, was accused of selling fake bags or counterfeit bags by many of their customers, allegedly. Okay. So the thing is this though, case in point, we've seen big influencers or even mid-side influencers actually do partnership with cassette example, Mel in melbourne i think mel melbourne or something like mel in melbourne she ha had did um a brand thing with them with cassettes where she went and visit the store and everything and she did um the first time that the ba the backlash started allegedly about them selling fake bag she did come and talked about her whole um how youtube is her business and all of those things and i respect that right but when she did do it right um she basically suggested to you guys they give her a discount code or oh, i think they give her a discount code. i'm not sure because i never watched that video but she put it on her platform right and a lot of people were influenced to go to that website to buy bags because the prices look good right so allegedly now a lot of people are saying that the bag that they purchased from this website is fake so you see how, so this is what's tying me back in regards to the toxic role that social media influencer play, right? Because us, like I said, the regular folks are like, oh, cassette, ooh, got a great deal. Ooh, okay. Well, Mel in Melbourne, I, 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 I vouch for them. So it must be a legit website, right? There's so many different influences that partner with different websites. And that's the thing about with the influencers is do your homework before you recommend these places do your homework because your followers are going to basically ordered because you recommend it because you back them and you put them on your channel right so and that's what i was saying in regards to that like she recommended people a lot of people bought from cassette because they watched that video of her um doing the whole going to the store and everything and doing the whole behind the scene and all of that and they recommend it right Another person, and a lot of people try to come for, I, I love her, don't get me wrong, um, Celeste. I love her. So she did a TikTok about Cassette sending her a bag and things like that. And I love um, Celeste. I just think she's so cute. Um, and she did it on her TikTok, right? So, and people actually, when this whole scandal happened, people went back and said, oh, well, you recommend this and you were the reason why I bought this and things like that. But like she said, it, she said, listen, yeah, I was gifted, but guess what? I did. I went and did a third party authentication to make sure the bag was real and my bag was real. And one thing, honestly, I love about Celeste, I think honestly, just watching some of her videos, she's very transparent. Okay. She will, she's not somebody that holds on to, you know, like to be like, Oh, I'm not taking accountability. So I feel like if the bag that cassette has sent, if it was fake and everything, I think she would take accountability for that. But that's just to show you about us as influencers, because I'm gonna include myself in it because I know I've recommend a lot of things, but like I tell you guys, I buy my stuff pre-love, but I do get it third party authenticated to make sure that it's real, right? Because unfortunately, like I love fashion file, you guys know that I used to love rebag until that whole dilemma, and now rebag is like mm, I don't know about rebag. Um, the real real, like I told you. The real real, I'm a little bit hesitant to shop from them because obviously they were known to also sell allegedly fake bags and a lot of people have been affected by them but us as the consumer we need to pay attention and stop 
having social media influencers define what luxury is to us. That's the one point I want to make. We need to stop doing that. We need to stop waiting on social medias to tell us, oh, you know what though, guys, uh, this lady deal is the best bag ever purchased. Oh my God, you guys going, you guys need a lady Dior. Without a lady Dior, your collection is not complete. Guys, please don't do that. Don't let somebody define what is considered a complete collection in your eyes, okay? Because guess what? You never know if that influencer, if Lady Dior, if um, Dior sent them the Lady Dior for free for them to be able to promote it. You never know that, okay? So that's another thing is that we need to stop waiting on influencers to tell us what we need and what we don't need. Me, one thing you guys will ever always know about me and on this channel is that guess what? I am going to tell you guys about something. Like I am going to be very transparent because guess what? None of these brand pay me <laughs> to talk about their bag. This is my own money that I went and spent, my hard earned money, okay? That I went and spent and I bought back and I'm buying bags that I love, bags that I appreciate, bags that I want in my collection, okay? And this channel is always going to be very transparent. I'm going to tell you something. I'm like, even though you guys know my love for coach, I will tell you straight forward, like, hey guys, this coach bag, biggest thing, the zipper sucks. I wish they would have made a more smoother zipper, okay? Because guess what? I don't hold any loyalty to, to coach because coach is not paying me, okay? And even if coach is paying me, um, at the end of the day, you see, like I told you, see how it, it gets stuck on here? I, and I digress. Even if coach is paying me, like my honest my honest opinion is the biggest thing that matter i want when you guys go buy these bags you appreciate it and you love it okay not because oh my god da, 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 da. i'm not benefiting from these i'm not honestly speaking so that's the thing we need to definitely watch what we bring internally of what luxury is and we define to ourselves what luxury is okay if we think a 300 dollars coach bag is luxury hey who is going to tell you it's not? Because at the end of the day, one thing that I love that Marquita um, LV Luxury always says that you make the bag, you make the bag luxury. Even if you went and spent $10 on this bag, guess what? You are the luxury behind that bag, okay? You carry it with confidence. And if it's luxury to you, it's luxury to the rest of the world. It don't matter what the name is on that bag, okay, guys? So anyway, this was the quick video discussion that I really wanted to target. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.